Age-related macular degeneration, AMD, is the leading cause of blindness in people 55 years and older in developed countries. More than 10 million people are affected in the US, and about 200 million people are affected globally. Many people affected by AMD won't have significant vision loss. Only about 20 to 25% of patients with AMD will develop advanced forms and experience significant vision loss. The leading risk factors for AMD are aging, smoking, diet, and genetics. The Foundation Fighting Blindness funded research that helped identify the major genetic risk factors for AMD. Research has also shown that maintaining a healthy lifestyle and diet can help reduce AMD risks. Almost everyone with AMD starts off with the dry form. The hallmark of dry AMD is the accumulation of drusen, fatty deposits underneath the retina. When a doctor looks at the back of the eye, they can see if drusen are present. Certain types and amounts of drusen can be damaging and cause significant central vision loss. This damaging advanced form of dry AMD is known as geographic atrophy. The other form of macular degeneration, wet AMD, can significantly and quickly affect vision. People with dry AMD can also develop the wet form, which is characterized by the growth of leaky blood vessels under the retina. If these leaky blood vessels are not addressed quickly, they cause damage, especially in the macular region, which leads to central vision loss. People with early wet AMD often experience wavy lines, like a door frame or a window frame that looks wavy. If you have wet AMD and get to an eye doctor right away, there are several FDA-approved treatments to mop up those leaky blood vessels. Timing is crucial to prevent and possibly reverse the damage that can be done. These are two fundus photos. On the left is a retina affected by dry AMD, and the yellow spots are drusen. In the photo on the right, there is a C-shaped blob of redness, which is caused by the leaky blood vessels that are the hallmark of wet AMD. To learn more and get involved, visit fightingblindness.org or scan the QR code.